It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Sunday, the 12th of August. I'm Michael Graff. An active afternoon and evening ahead here for the Valley with the potential of strong thunderstorms producing damaging winds and locally heavy rain as well as blowing dust. Then we'll see a small reprieve from monsoon activity tomorrow and into Tuesday. But for the middle part of the week, thunderstorm activity returns in a big way. Maybe some heavy rain and the flash flood potential goes up. So let's talk about it. First, in the valley yesterday, 101 degrees the high, 74 the low, three hundredths of an inch of rain in the bucket. We're now at eight tenths for the month of August. Outside right now here at one o'clock in the afternoon. 97 degrees at Sky Harbor. It is sticky out there. Dew point at 65, humidity 35%, winds light, barometer 29.90 and falling. Temperatures around south central Arizona this afternoon ranging from around 90 to near 100. But hey, if you think it's hot here, how about these numbers across North Dakota? It's 95 in Walhalla, 93 in Grand Forks. 100 in Bismarck, 102 in Minot, 103 in Williston. The real winner here, Watford City, North Dakota, at 106 degrees. We won't even be that hot here in Phoenix today. It's 97. It's the same temperature in Estevan in southeast Saskatchewan in Canada as it is here in Phoenix right now. Remarkable heat there. All right, the water vapor satellite view. Why is it so hot up there? Yeah, high pressure. The same ridge that's dominating our weather extends all the way up into the northern plains and southern Canada. A northeast flow here across the southwest, and that's going to be responsible for bringing storms off of the mountains into the deserts today. The watch warning map, heat advisories and heat warnings, obviously, for the northern Rockies and parts of the Dakotas. Here in Arizona, no advisories as of right now, but we'll keep an eye out on it. Probably a dust advisory will be issued for later today. Maybe even a severe thunderstorm watch. Let's look at the severe weather outlook. We do have a marginal risk issued by the SPC for this afternoon that encompasses much of central and western Arizona, Sedona, Prescott, the Phoenix metro area, Tucson, Nogales, over toward Quartzsite and Parker. The main threat from severe storms this afternoon would be strong damaging straight line winds, maybe a few microbursts, and obviously uh, blowing dust and all the usual monsoon elements that we'd expect from strong to severe storms as well. Rainfall for the next seven days coming from the WPC. This is valid through next Sunday morning. Uh, amounts around three quarters of an inch here in the valley and anywhere uh, from one to two inches in some of the favored higher terrain. And obviously your amount could vary as any isolated storm can easily produce more than what's shown here. All right, let's get into the details of our active weather pattern here as we check out the models and see where it's going. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at five o'clock this afternoon. Elongated ridge extending from the northern plains to the southwest, an area of low pressure over New Mexico, and that's going to add some upper support and dynamics. Good wind shear, northeasterly flow aloft. And with some moisture around down at the surface today, we'll see clouds on the increase through the afternoon. High temperatures will top out just over the century mark. And we'll start to see those showers and storms lining up along the rim and moving toward the southwest and west toward the greater Phoenix area through the mid and late afternoon hours. Let's look at the HRRR model this afternoon at five o'clock and it's got storms entering the valley through northern Maricopa County at that time and another area of storms across southern Gila and pushing westward into eastern Pinal and eastern Maricopa County. So we could see some colliding outflow boundaries, certainly some strong damaging winds. That is the primary concern from storms today, but you know some places are gonna get hit with some really heavy rain and I wouldn't even be surprised to see some small hail with a few of these storms today as well. Uh, tonight, we'll have uh, partly cloudy skies and then um, with the storm chances diminishing overnight, lows mostly in the upper 70s to mid 80s. Tomorrow, we'll look for mostly sunny skies in the morning, becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon. There is a slight chance of showers and storms, but I think the likelihood of any precip tomorrow is lower than today, certainly. Highs between 99 and 103. Tuesday, the area of high pressure begins to reposition itself toward the four corners. Flow aloft turning east and southeasterly. Chance of showers and storms over the eastern mountains getting into the deserts in the afternoon and evening. But Wednesday, this is where the GFS for several days has been outlining an uptick in shower and storm activity. The other global models are on board with this idea as well. So we'll ramp it up to a 40% chance of seeing late afternoon and evening showers and storms getting into the valley. The main threat from storms here, yes, there could be some isolated severe storms, but I think heavy rain is the primary potential as moisture levels are expected to go way up toward the 99th percentile of climatology. So we have to watch for the flash flood potential increasing out here toward Wednesday 
and into Thursday. High temperatures coming down, humidity levels coming up. We might stay under the century mark on Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how active the days are. We'll go with highs somewhere between 97 and 101 for this period. Friday, we'll start to see a subtle decrease in thunderstorm activity. The area of high pressure will be squeezed, pinched, and shoved off to the northwest. And the flow aloft will gradually start to turn northeasterly, then northerly, then northwesterly as we go toward next Saturday. And here's a week from today. This is Sunday, the 19th of August, and a drying trend will start to take place at this point. This is not completely crystal clear, but the models are starting to trend in this direction. How long this lasts, that's still very much up in the air because as we go all the way out to the end of the forecast period, this is Wednesday the 22nd. And it looks like high pressure begins to slide back toward the southwest states and maybe an increase in moisture out here. But, you know, this is way out there in imagination land. So it'll be some time before we have a very clear idea where this is going. Checking the temperatures through the period coming off of the GFS ensemble. Highs at or above normal today, tomorrow into Tuesday and then downtrend in temps for Wednesday, maybe even Thursday. Would not, again, be surprised to see highs below the century mark one of those days. And then more or less, we're around where we should be for mid to late August thereafter. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. Updates, of course, if necessary. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Otherwise, be safe out there. Stay cool. Watch out for the storms later today as well. Drink plenty of water, as I always caution you. And you guys have yourselves a great rest of your Sunday.